Here's a quick tech tip when it comes to batteries to keep state of charge versus state of health straight. They sound similar, but they measure two completely different things on a battery. State of charge or SOC tells you how full the battery is right now. Essentially, it's how much energy is in the tank. So around 12.6 volts or higher at rest means it's full. State of health or SOH measures how well that battery can hold and deliver a charge compared to when it was new. So think of it as a battery's fitness level. It's not measuring how full the tank is, but rather how big it is. So what causes a state of health drop? Things like heat, vibration, age, and chronic undercharging. Over time, sulfation builds up on a battery's plates, reducing capacity and internal conductivity. The results of this? The battery still charges, but it can't deliver the same cranking amps that it used to. It's important to remember that a battery can show a full state of charge and still be unhealthy. That's why you always check not only the battery's state of charge, but also its state of health. With today's heavy electrical demands, checking both will go a long way to help ensure that your customers don't find themselves stranded. Batteries are also often overlooked and not properly tested when vehicles experience starting and charging system issues. Remember, a weak, discharged, or failed battery is also one of the leading causes of alternator and starter failures, both on original equipment units and replacement starters and alternators. And if you find a customer battery in need of replacement, make sure that you replace the battery with the correct battery design. Heavy cycling situations like start-stop technologies can put a heavy demand on a standard SLI battery and shorten the battery life significantly if the wrong type is used. When it comes to batteries, make sure that you use one that's up to the task. The Duraless Pro Power lineup offers technicians and shop owners the batteries they need to get their customers back on the road. I want to thank the folks at AutoZone for sponsoring this tech tip. Until next time, thanks for watching.